For some reason, we're getting attacked by a giant warthog, and that's not happening today. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the Hunter DE33, and I want to thank everybody for waiting, for having all the patience, for letting me recover. And it's been a week now, and I'm back and ready for action. Alright, so today we're out here after some Gemsbach, and if you joined us last night in the live stream, we found out a good technique in how to get some nice Gemsbach. Now, we're probably going to be using the 270 mostly because it's a lot of fun and it's a pretty good challenge. Also, we have the 7mm with us, but we have a nice Gemsbach right in front of us. And he's right there, about 160 out. We're going to go for a heart double lung shot. Now watch this. Right there. I think we're actually a little bit too high, but definitely should have been a vital hit. Watch him. And he's down. Nice. All right, so I'm pretty sure he was a lot closer than 160 yards out. So we probably should have ranged him before we took the shot. But nonetheless, I'm sure we got a double lung shot. And let's go get our Gemsbach. All right, here he is. Our first Gemsbach with the 270. Let's take a look at him. He looks like he's kind of a gray colored variation. Very cool. Let's pick him up. He scores 275. And let's see how we did. We were too high. Yep, he was only 112 yards out. Still made a wicked shot on him. Definitely a double lung shot, but we were about two or three inches too high. All right, so next I'm going to show you how I found the Gemsbach and what the best technique is to finding them, especially what time. Normally, I start at 9 o'clock in the morning and basically come anywhere on the center part of the map. A lot of you guys have been saying anywhere in the center part. I noticed this lake here is really good for Gemsbach as well, around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning sometimes. But yeah, 9 o'clock is a really good time. Anywhere in between the circle right around here. Another thing is, Gemsbach will come into the Antler Rattler if you put out a couple of calls. Oh, all right, so it looks like we have a brown colored. It's actually a dark fur variation of a Gemsbach, and these are very cool and very unique. They look like a pretty decent sized one as well. So we're gonna stay prone, try and shift over a little bit, and we might try and take the bow on this one. If you use the 420 grain arrows, you do get full integrity, and it works pretty good. I hear something coming. I don't know. Uh, it should be him. All right, let's let him slow up a little bit here. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Perfect heart shot. He is down. A nice dark colored Gemsbach with the bow. Let's go over and go take a look. Yeah, this is the new animation that they did recently where it actually shows the wound and the entry wound. All right, let's pick him up. And he scores 248 silver. Looks like we did make a heart shot. Double lung heart shot at 19 yards out. And a total score of 733 on him. He's a dark colored fur variation and a nice Gemsbach with a bow. That's a nice Gemsbach. We just located a four easy 256 to 307 score on him now that should be a 300 plus a lot of times if you find a big Gensbach like this and they're a four easy they should break 300 and they should be a gold sometimes if you see on the estimate on the right side here it says 256 to 307 if it's really big it will say 307 minimum up to i think 350 and that's when you know it's going to be a giant all right so here's the thing though we have a female here at 278 yards out and the big male is well, he's in some thick brush, and I don't really want to try for that kind of a shot. I can't even spot him at this moment. We have a perfect opportunity to make a heart shot on this female at 286 yards out. And I think we're going to do that. We're going to take a shot on her, and then we'll try and... Well, I guess that will give us position to try and sneak around the backside here and get in position to maybe take out this giant with a bow. Alright, so we have this one out here at about 300. We'll be zeroed in for 320, and we should be able to put it right on her. And... Go for a hard shot. Oh, her head was right in the way. I don't know what this is. I think this is actually that same female, and I don't really want to take a shot on her. Uh, but we're not going to have much of a choice. Nope. Ugh. I don't know how we didn't get hard on that, but we should have. Ooh, look at that. We just found a herd of Gemsbach. 
And that one is a giant. Look at that thing. I bet that's a female because the horns go straight up on that. All right, let's zoom in a little bit more so we can get a little bit better of a look. But you can see those two on the right are nice sized ones. But once this one picks his head up, look at that thing. If that's not a female, that's a giant male. All right, guys, so we're sneaking into position where that big Gemsbach was right now. We're completely prone, and I just heard him walking. Let's pop up and see if we can see anything. We really can't. Oh my god, he's right there. I don't know if that's him or not, but there's one about 20 yards away right there. can't quite see it good enough. It's too tall grass here. I'll try and stand up all the way once. Went for a double lung shot. And we got a solid hit on him. But I don't think that's the one we wanted. No, it's not. Well, at least we got him though. All right guys, there's another one right here. Right next to where we just took that shot. I just can't quite get a decent outline on him. I don't know where to aim. He can't see us. We have good cover here. We're going to have to try and shift over a little bit. Try and shift over this way. He's right there. Oh, look how close he is. He's got to be about five yards or less from us. Oh, I still can't see. I just can't see good enough to know where to aim. I don't think that's him. Got it! Perfect shot! I don't know if that is him or not. I'll have to pick it up and find out. That was not him, but it was a silver, and we did make a heart shot. Perfect heart and left lung shot at 3.9 yards out. That's probably the closest shot I've ever taken with a bow. And I can hear more. They're right next to us. They can't see us. They're in the stick grass here. Oh, right there. All right, so I think that's the big one. He's out here at about 20 yards out. We're going to try and shift over a little bit. And hopefully we can make a hard shot on him. Here we go. Got it. And he's down. That should be the big... Hopefully it's a big gold. And that should be the big one there. We do have one that's flesh hit from the 270 that we took a pretty far shot on. This looks like it could be a big one as well. This was another big one. He scores 276. He probably would have been a smaller goal. We made a double lung shot on him. I mean, I couldn't really see anything on him. I didn't know where to aim exactly. That was a 6.5 yard shot on him. Another nice Gemsbach with the bow. And let's go over here and pick up this one. This one should definitely be a gold because we made a perfect heart shot on him. And he went down. Let's take a look and let's pick him up. He scores 279 gold. He was a four easy. And we made a heart double lung shot at 20 yards out. Perfect shot on him. And an awesome Gemsbach with a bow. All right, so we're trying to track down the female that we had hit before so we can keep our consecutive harvest at 100%. But we found a pretty big male out here. And he's about 300 out. I think at this point we're gonna try for we're gonna try for a shot with a seven millimeter. All right, so we'll be zeroed in for 300, and that's him right there. We're gonna shift over a little bit, and we'll see if we can't make a double lung spine shot. Got him. Well, there he is. It looks like he ran about 15, maybe 20 yards, so he didn't go too far at all. And we also locate a resting zone for these Gemsbach as well, too. And he went down in a really cool position, too. Very cool. And I think we're going to take advantage of only we could push over this tree a little bit. We'd be in prime position for an awesome picture. Which I think we're still in a pretty good spot for a picture. So we'll try and take one here. There we go. Pretty cool. We'll try and shift over a little bit. Like I said, that tree is a little bit in the way. But other than that, and let's pick him up. And he scores 302 gold. Total score of 863. We actually did make a perfect double lung spine shot. You can see we're holding for the center of the lung. But I knew we were zeroed in for three, 320. So I figured we'd shoot a little bit high. And that's exactly what we did. Spine, double lung shot. And we got ourselves 
a monster gold Gemsbok. He was a gray colored as well. This might be my first gold gray colored Gemsbok. Total score of 863 and we got 1,409 cash for him. And lastly, I want to show you guys my favorite spot for Gemsbok and the exact spot that we're at right now. And it is 14 in the afternoon, but I would say around 12 o'clock noon is really good here. Right in central Savannah. So like I said, right dead center in the middle of the map. Actually, I guess you're looking in uh, Vaxa and just go right to the northeast here at Sequa uh, Kovi. And right here, it's just absolutely loaded with some monster Gemsbok. I've gotten some of my biggest gold Gemsbok right here. For some reason, we're getting attacked by a giant Warthog, and that's not happening today. Perfect shot. He is down. I think we made a hard shot on him. I don't know where it came from or what it is as far as if it's a big male or a female. But let's pick it up and find out. Holy, that was a huge... Oh my god. That's an albino. A giant albino warthog. Goal. He scores 52 total score of 888. And we made a double lung... I thought we made heart, but it looks like we made a double lung liver shot on him. At 12 yards away, an albino warthog. A giant. Wow. So before this, my coolest rare in Call of the Wild probably would have been my albino gold blacktail with a bow. But I think this just tops it. We just got a rare albino gold warthog with a bow in Africa. Wow, this is definitely cooler than my albino wildebeest because that was a female. Just wow. Well, I think that's going to be a pretty awesome way to end this video. And I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Let's go with that and let's pick him up. Oh my god!